If you don't put your grocery cart back, I don't like you. I know that's weird. You probably like, what are you talking about? I don't, really don't care, but I don't like you. If you don't put your grocery cart back, I always put my grocery. Every time I go grocery shopping, my cart, I put it back. Because I'm the one who, who got it and used it. Just inconsiderate type of person. If you are melanated, you let people call you black. That's that's crazy. I had to stop hanging with I, I stopped hanging with people that call people melanated people black and the N word. Use that. No, I don't want to hear that because that's a color. That is a color. Let's just end it right here and in, in here. Black is a color, and if you say otherwise, you're slow. It's really sad the the, the times we're living in, but I ref, I refuse. I refuse to accept the BS. I'll alienate myself. I'll stay here and make my little YouTube videos, my little 10, 20, 30, however many views. I don't care. It is what it is. I'm not going to let somebody call me black and call me the N-word. I'm melanated. Black culture. Black culture. Black culture. Sagging pants. Or not even just, not even just sagging pants. The music we listen to, the way we talk, the way we walk, the hairstyles, black culture. The reason why I have, I have braids is because I had them when I was younger and I, and I cut them off. I went through phases. I don't have them because I want to be a thug. I actually stopped listening to most rap music as much as I used to. I really can't listen to it because, you know, I'm mature now and I actually realized the lyrics, what the lyrics, what they mean, you know, why they're, why they are saying these things, what it does to the soul, excuse me, black culture is supposed, we're supposed to bump it. We bump it in a house, we bump it in at the car system. Nice, thumping. Black culture. I have to be with with a with a with a black female. I ha that has to be my girlfriend. She has to have a little ghetto in her. She has to be a little hood. That's black culture, right? Black culture is I have to be cool with gang members. I don't have to necessarily be in a gang, but I have to know if you have to be cool with them. You know, they have to know me. I have to have known them. Put in some type of work in the hood, some fights, people don't don't won't test me. Black culture. I gotta love I gotta love fried chicken and fried foods. Always gotta be loud, obnoxious. Black culture, we most of us smoke weed, so we gotta smell like weed everywhere we go. Which I'm smoking right now, right? That's black culture, right? That's just a few things. All negative. Why would you want to be a part of that? Why would you want to be a part of the negativity? I, I just want to be judged for me. I don't want to be a part of something that's negative. And that just is just looked at as completely negative, believe it or not. You have Asians doing drill rap now. Asian, Asian Americans. That's what you want to call it, doing drill rap. Just think about that. We already knew spitting Puerto Ricans. We had some Puerto Ricans doing drill rap in New York. But the Asians, man, they think about it. They created a whole law because the Asians were getting assaulted in New York during the whole COVID and after COVID. They created a, an act and a law for an Asian hate crime bill. And they're trying to be a part of black culture. Just think about that. Why is nobody calling this out? I even recently just seen a female Asian rapper named something Sauce or something like that. It's crazy. It really is. They have a hate crime bill. But what about the racism towards melanated people? We've never gotten a hate crime bill. And we and our ancestors went through slavery. So why would you want to be a part of black culture? 
when 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 I just after those things I've just stated, if you really think about it, why would you want to be? Again, this is why I stay to myself. Because unfortunately, some uh, a person that looks like me, grew up like me, they still have the same mindset I used to have when I was young, dumb, running the streets. Most, most melanated men are not going to tell you this. They're not going to talk to you like this. They're not going to tell you that it's not okay to be called black. They're going to they're gonna be call, saying they're black left and right like it's nothing. It's an American thing. It's disrespectful. After years and years of what our ancestors went through during slavery, and we have to wear the name black on our backs, like a jersey name, like a jersey number, like a name and number on the backs. Oh, black man. Black man was arrested. Black man did this. Black man did that. Just don't sound right. It makes my stomach turn every time I hear somebody says it. You go to fill out that application and you got to check off. Black or African American. Your ancestors may not have been from Africa. All of our ancestors were not slaves on a ship. Some of our ancestors were already here. You may have Indian in you. You may have something else in you. You never, you never know. Your ancestors may have already been here. When Christopher Columbus so-called discovered America, we found out years later that was a lie. So don't be okay with ex being accepted with being called black because your ancestors more than likely were not black. Or more, maybe we're not African. And even if they were, wearing that black name on your back, accepting that title is not okay. That's my whole point of making this video, people. Maybe it's just to open your, open your eyes. Open your thoughts. I said, man, you know what? I really do need to stop hanging around people that, that that continue to call me black or think I won't, you know, I won't change their the words. Instead of saying black, say melanated. Instead of using the N-word. Starts with you. Once you change, maybe some maybe somebody else will start to change. And we already know the youth is a target. So if you if you have any type of influence on the youth in your family or, or or friends or kids look up to you, and you say, man, stop saying black, and they they'll actually do it. Hey, do it. That's all I want to say, ladies and gentlemen. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace and love.